Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel back. I just wanted to show you, give you a quick update on the progress of the cell. Uh, this is the electrolyzer plate cavity and this is the bottom. You'll notice that I have taken a sharpie and my carpenter's square and marked off where I'm going to be drilling the holes uh, in between the plates of the electrolyzer cavity. I've begun drilling some pilot holes here. I think uh, a little bit, they're less than 3 eighths, I think. Uh, let's see here. 3 30 seconds, 7 inch holes as my pilot holes so that uh, when I throw the, th the 1 8 inch bit, or I might even go slightly larger, maybe 9 64ths, um, it'll keep it centered as it, as it drives through and uh, it won't have a tendency to walk around as a drill bit will have. I, my tolerances are pretty close. I need to get these fairly well centered in between the plates, so that's that's how I've gone about that. The glue has set overnight. Um, one thing that I forgot to uh, account for, you can see the bottom here where the but the bottom plate has the the grooves that I ground in it with the grinding with the grinding disc on the Dremel tool to receive the bottom of the plates as you insert them into the vertical slots here. Well, that's all well and good, but as you as you run your bead of adhesive along the bottom, and then put the the plate in place to to set, uh, I forgot to take into account the fact that it might not necessarily flow all the way into the bottom of every single groove. I was a little concerned about that until I realized that I'm going to be drilling holes in the bottom of this thing anyway, and the whole thing is going to be submerged in a a tank of electrolytes so no big deal but these are the things you have to you have to watch out for when you deviate from uh, plans that have already been very well established so I just wanted to share that with you someone asked uh, how thick the plates were that I was dealing with that I got from the sheet metal shop that I got this from so I'm going to measure the thickness with a micrometer that I inherited from a family relative and the thickness is 35 thousandths of an inch. So they're fairly thick. They're not. They're not flimsy. Uh, very. They make uh, very nice plates. I'm not going to go into the preparation of the plates and the cells just yet. I just wanted to show you how the progress of the cell was coming along, and drill. Holes for you. You may have also noticed that my bench is much cleaner than it was last night. I spent about an hour this morning with the shop vac cleaning up all the chips. I reached my my maximum saturation of garbage level, and uh, I just can't work in <laughs> in that kind of environment. So, we will continue drilling the holes. Uh, the holes there are seven holes across the bottom of each cell. Uh, that means, uh, let's see, 9 times 7, well, whatever that is, uh, that'll be the number of holes that I'm drilling in the bottom of this thing to get the electrolyte to flow up between the plates as this thing is producing gas. And a little bit later, I will be taking some of the leftover acrylic that I have, which is a fairly large sheet, and create a containment vessel for the electrolyte that is slightly larger than the uh, electrolyzer plate cell and it will be very clear it'll give you a very nice very nice idea and we'll be able to stick the camera right along the side and show you the gas production within the cell it should be quite quite spectacular zero fossil fuel signing out for now thank you